What's up class? I uh, just wanted to make the video as promised to do our makeup class. Uh, I'd rather do it online. I know you guys have a very hectic schedule. So I figured you guys could watch this video and learn a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a bit of review, but we're also going to introduce a couple more parts to uh, some presentation skills. Uh, don't worry, I know you guys see my face enough, so this is just going to be a quick video shot of me explaining it, but we're going to move on to the video. You can hear my voice, of course, but you will not have to look at my face for much longer, I promise. Just joking. Anyway, we are going to be doing just uh, four basic parts of presentations, right? So we're going to be talking about the hook, we're going to be talking about the introduction, the body, and then finally the conclusion. Uh, you're a guy, you know the intro pretty well, the body's pretty good, but I think the hook and the conclusion are going to be pretty important for you guys. It's going to help your presentation skills that much more. Uh, anyway, I will slowly go through it uh, while we watch the video, so everybody keep your ears open, and here we go. Okay, so obviously this is how to give a five minute speech. <laughs> you guys can go a little bit longer than this, but basic idea, five minute speech, short speech. Um, it's laying out the components. Um, and for this sake, it's just going to be doing one minute increments, but obviously you can extend that or even shorten it if you have a quicker speech. But there's gonna be four basic parts and we're gonna go through them one by one. The first part that we're gonna get into is called the attention grabber. You hear this all the time. I always say the hook, right? So basically the hook is really what catches the attention of your audience, right? Pretend you're fishing and you need a hook to catch a fish, right? Well, you need a hook to catch your audience as well. So there's a few ways. We have a story, right? And this can be a small story that's related to the topic at hand. It doesn't have to be long, but something that's somewhat interesting, right? Uh, you can also just do facts. You can give an interesting fact about that specific topic that you're gonna be presenting. And finally, you can also come up with uh, rhetorical questions or provocative questions. You're going to interact with your audience, right? You're going to ask them questions to get them involved in what you're doing so that way they will keep their focus. So I got uh, a few examples that I'd like to go over. Uh, the first example I would probably want to do is uh, talking about successful women in America or just successful women all around the world but uh, one name that comes to mind right away is Oprah Winfrey right she's a very successful lady so let's say we did a presentation on her tell a story right right at the beginning give a very short story about how she became successful there's many different stories you could research about that or if you wanted to give some sort of facts about her right uh, it doesn't even have to be a fact about her. Actually, here we could just give facts about other successful women, right? This is just the, intro, the hook, right? To get people kind of thinking about it. Uh, and finally, you could just ask some questions, right? Ask them if they know any successful women uh, in the world, any neighbors, friends, family, who is successful. Interact with your audience, right? switch the topic up. It doesn't have to be about successful women. Uh, it could be about anything. Let's take, um, uh, say you're doing a presentation on sharks. Uh, we'll be specifically doing a presentation on bull sharks, right? Uh, and you can start off with kind of a scary story or some close encounter that you had with a bull shark. Uh, you know, something that kind of gets people excited. You can even bring in like a bull shark tooth to show and tell to everybody, right? You can use these sort of things to get excitement to go on. Um, or just start with facts, right? You know, talk about how bull sharks are not only in the ocean, but they have the ability to go into fresh water so you can find them in certain rivers around the world, right? Or you can ask some questions, right? Do you know what a bull shark is? Do you think they're dangerous, right? Get some sort of interaction to go along with it, right? Bull shark! To a small exercise, nothing too crazy, uh, but I want you guys to practice doing these hooks, right? 
Um, I'll give you a theme, very simple theme. Let's pretend that you're going to give a short presentation and speech on full circle rainbows, right? Not the half arc, I'm talking about the full circle rainbows, okay? Um, so fairly interesting, they're beautiful, they're cool. Uh, but how are you gonna interest your audience? Let's say you have to do a presentation on this. What sort of hooks are you gonna use, right? So I want you to practice using all three, right? Start with the story. Right, so maybe, and you can lie. I don't <clears throat> mind. The whole idea is just you to practice the language, right? So tell a story about one wonderful day when you came across the full circle rainbow. So it'd be an easy one. Uh, but you can use the other ones as well, right? So you can give some sort of facts about it as long as they're interesting. Or finally, you can even just ask some sort of questions to interact with uh, the audience that would be there when you're presenting. Uh, your choice, right? The whole idea is just to practice doing this. So I'm going to give you guys about 10 minutes. Basically, I'm going to play two songs. Um, and I don't know if you're going to like them. Anyway, I love them. This is Rise Against. You most definitely can turn the volume all the way down if you'd like while you're working on this. Uh, but if you want to listen to some cool music, or at least in my opinion, cool music, I will have it playing for you, okay? Uh, good luck. I hope everybody comes up with some great hooks. I'll see you again soon. It kills me not to know this, but I've all but just forgot what the color of her eyes were. And her scars or how she got them has the telling signs of age rain down. A single tear is dropping through the valleys of an aging face that this world has forgotten.
All right, class, let's get into the second part of the presentation, Delio, which is the introduction, right? Uh, so we've already gone over this quite a bit, uh, and I think you guys know it pretty well, so I'm going to kind of quickly go through this. We won't have to practice too many examples, but it's good to review. Uh, so as you know, you start with the general details, so you're just going to give the basic information about the topic at hand. Uh, once we give this, we're going to go into the main points, right? So this is your main focus of what you're going to speak about throughout the presentation. Now this last part is optional. Uh, it's all about stating your opinion on the matter. So usually you'll do this if there's some sort of controversy or contradicting factors uh, that you can talk about within your presentation. So for example, uh, in our introduction today, we're going to be talking about Bill Gates, another wonderful, successful man, right? So general details, you're just going to talk about who he is, right? So he was the co-founder of Microsoft. Uh, you can say, you know, describe that company if you want, but uh, talk about how he's helped out the world and why you want to talk about him, why he's important to you, right? So just little bits of general information here and there. Uh, but after you kind of introduce who he is with the general text, you're going to follow with a little bit more specific stuff, such as the main points. Uh, and for example, it says here, Today I would like to discuss why Bill Gates is the most important man of the 21st century. I have three main points for my opinion. First, he is a genius. Second, without him, many businesses would fail. And third, he is an innovator, right? So these are all really good uh, reasons to describe why you're speaking about Bill Gates, right? Uh, and then after, let's say there is some sort of controversy. So basically, maybe people are comparing Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. Who is the better one when it comes to, you know, the innovation of computers and the tech that we have going on? Uh, this person obviously is on Bill Gates' side, uh, but this is where you would give an opinion, right? So if there's some sort of contrast. All right. All right. Uh, and this actually might be a really good time to let you know that if I am speaking too fast or if the video is going by too quickly and it's not giving you enough time uh, to read the, the headlines or the examples that were shown in there, uh, pause it, right? Rewind it. This is your video, you can use it however you want. Uh, I just want this for your reference to help you out later. But, I mean, I have a feeling this part isn't too difficult. We practiced the in introduction before, it shouldn't be a huge problem for you. Uh, but I do want to practice a little bit. So again, we're going to have some sort of example. Um, pretty easy. I think this is where your heart is. I want you to think of three delicious dishes of that you love, right? So pretend you already hooked your audience and you got their mouths watering, they're super hungry, uh, and now you're going to jump into the specific foods that you love the most and why you love them the most, right? And at the end, you can give some sort of controversial issue. Maybe there's one food that's very popular versus another food, and it's 50-50, people are butting heads on deciding which one's better. I guess you could give your opinion there. Uh, but just quickly practice introducing your favorite foods and why they're so good, all right? And then we'll move on to part three. So again, I got some music, uh, a little less intense, so I'm going to calm it down a little bit, uh, so don't worry, <laughs> you should enjoy it. Anyway, I'll see you guys uh, very soon. You can't turn back the tide Pains of wounded pride of you over me. Some won't do you wrong, yeah. God love and still is gone. Maybe you ain't as strong as you wanna be. It's alright if you don't wanna go home. It's alright. Get a water from a storm out. 
They're awesome. Uh, so now we're gonna get into the body, right? So you guys remember the body as well. This is uh, the meat of the sandwich. This is the important part, right? This is where you give all the details and the reasons and examples of basically why you are giving this presentation to the audience, right? Uh, so we're gonna start with three details, uh, typically three, but you can do more. Uh, two is all right, I guess, but the more the better. I, I would shoot for three. Uh, but yeah, this just explains uh, small details about your main facts that you're gonna be talking about. Uh, you can also give reasons, right? So these are why you believe what you believe. This is kind of matching up with your opinions. And then three examples are just examples of support for your opinion, okay? So these are three different ways 
that we can conduct uh, the body of our presentation. So let's take the example of the great, wonderful, majestic lion, right? We can give three specific characteristics of why he is so amazing, right? You can talk about his great strength, right? It could be anything. Whatever you find to be super amazing about the lion, three characteristics about him. Uh, and if we wanted to move on, we could go into the reasons of why he is the king. Why is he so majestic? So you're just going to talk about those reasons to the audience. And then also give examples, right? So you can talk about how they actually behave within that environment. There's lots of ways to do it. Okay, so now we're going to assume that you guys are doing a presentation on the most dangerous jobs in the world, right? And you've given your opinion, you've decided that you're going to be speaking about fishers, right? So, fishermen, but, you know, women fish as well. Basically, anybody who sails the mighty seas catching, you know, sharks, octopi, squid, crab, all of that, right? It's a pretty dangerous job, right? Anyway, that could be your first one. Second one being uh, roofers, right? Roofers is a pretty dangerous job. Uh, third one being loggers, maybe. That'd be a good one, too. Uh, yeah, so we'll say fishers, loggers, and then third we'll say roofers, right? So those will be the three that you are going to make a presentation on now already done the introduction and hooked everybody beforehand so now you just have to come up with the details right and you come up with the reasons why you believe they are the most dangerous jobs and finally you're going to give a few examples right um, and I think this is probably the most important parts of the presentation obviously right this is where you give the pertinent information to the audience. This is why the audience is listening to you. And not to say that the introduction and the conclusion aren't important as well. Everything is really important, but uh, especially when it comes to my assessment, this is going to be part of it, right? It's got to be something educational, informative, uh, entertaining as well, right? So this is where you're going to come up with these great details, examples, and reasons of why you are presenting this information to the audience, to the class, okay? So, practice. Same idea as before. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys just one song. Now, I'm actually, this is probably a little harder. I'll give you two songs again. Uh, I'll make it more upbeat. I'm gonna probably download some of your favorite Korean music, maybe a little Blackpink. This will be for my daughter who loves Blackpink. Anyway, good luck. I will see you to talk about the conclusion after.
혹시 닿던 전화가 울릴까봐 괜한 기대를 하는 내가 미워 자꾸 똑딱거리는 시계소리가 유난히 거슬려 And I'm my tongue is all with you mind Don't know what to do without you 이런 내 마음 거울에 들킬까봐 그려본 내 입술은 뭐 혼자가 편해 난 그냥 그래 오늘처럼 예쁜 날에 어떡해 이렇게 모든 게 벅차기만 해 Don't know what to do I don't know what to do
touched upon this a little bit before, but not in too much detail. Uh, basically, it's pretty easy. You are just going to restate your points. You're, you're summarizing what happened within the presentation. So you're going to go over the main points, restate them again, not in the exact same words, but restate the same information. You're also going to summarize your opinion that you began with, right? Remind the class or the audience uh, what your opinion is and why you believe it. And then you also want to end with a final point, right? This is really going to emphasize your opinion to make it that much more legitimate and strong. This would probably be a really good place to use uh, our comparative speech or simile speech that we've been working on the last two weeks. Um, anyway, so that's the four steps to it, right? So you start with your hook, go to your intro, go into the body, and then summarize everything in your conclusion. Yep, so I hope this was a bit helpful for everybody. Uh, a bit of review, like I know, but uh, I hope the hook and the part of the conclusion will really kind of step up your presentation that much more. Uh, anyway, I want you to keep practicing, practice all of them, but we still have to do one quick practice, the conclusion, you're not quite done yet, uh, but choose any of the topics that we already went over beforehand, right, it could be the most dangerous jobs, or it could be about bull sharks or lions, any, actually, you know what, any sort of example that you want, so maybe it could be a past uh, presentation that you worked on in class, or maybe you want to start practicing for your future group projects that are coming up, so, uh, I, I don't mind. I just want you to get into the idea of summarizing, right? And one of the main points I do want to say is don't repeat yourself. Like, so especially in the introduction, uh, when you're talking about the main facts and the main ideas that you're going to be speaking about, uh, don't use the same exact wording in the conclusion. You do need to restate uh, those main points, but just word it a little bit differently. We don't like to be redundant, especially in speeches and presentations, so switch it up just a tiny bit. But you need to relay that information to the audience again, right? So you gotta tell them what's important. Uh, give your opinion again too, right? That's the most important part, showing your opinion. And then legitimizing your opinion by giving some sort of exaggerated speech or some really strong point that correlates with your opinion. Anyway, practice, uh, practice makes perfect, as we always say. It was a pleasure, and I will see everybody next class. Have a good night.